Hello, Burlington, Vermont. I am Navarro Justino Dodge. This. And you're here with Olivia and. This is Chase. And we are. Uh, right now at Community Kitchen. And we are interviewing local Burlingtonians yes. about the value of the Community Kitchen. Yes. So let's get ready, right? You ready, Chance? Okay, yes, I am. Let me right. Make sure you lock it. On yep, YouTube. like and subscribe on our YouTube down below. Let's go! What is the Community Kitchen to you? Yeah, so the tiny Community Kitchen, we're just a small business located at 156 North Winooski. And what we pretty much do is we bring in a bunch of chefs, small home cooked chefs, and provide them an outlet for a. Uh, to cook in. Basically, you know, we understand that Burlington has quite a high reputation for high rent. And so we kind of are uh, providing these local chefs with an outlet to cook their food and giving uh, Burlington a variety in itself. What do you think the value of a community kitchen is? Just, uh, yeah, I think the name says it itself. You know, we're trying to build something here in the community, have have a place not only where people can come gather, you know, but have good times, have new food, you know, food really brings people together. So that's what we're trying to do here. Oh, you know, I think it means a lot. I think that having uh, in a state that, you know, normally has a lot of big box businesses around and being able to look out for those who, you know, have the same dedication and, and, uh, and, and, you know, have the same pride in the work that they do. It's very important to be able to have access to these kind of places. So, yeah, it was great that, you know, that they were being, uh, that this space was actually being able to be offered uh, for such a, you know, a wonderful thing such as Empress Kitchen. So um, I think it's awesome. I've only been here a couple of times, but I love that like different people in the community can come and share the food that they make. Um, and there's always really yummy food here. Um, so, yeah, I love it. Oh, baby. The first of all, the food. It's f***ing fantastic. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that, right? We can bleep it. Okay. <laughs> but the vegan ribs is my favorite. The, pos the potato salad is the B-E-S-T. And everything else is good, too, but those are my favorites. And I love community. Our community is blessed to have Empress Levi so food because nobody can compete with her. Her shit is the bomb, the best. And if you didn't know, now you know! Oh, that's my sister too, by the way. <laughs> I think it's so important because it gives an opportunity to um, people who are just starting out in the food industry or have been cooking for a very long time, like Empress, but don't have the same access to be able to, you know, rent their own space. It's, it's you know waiting for that to pass the um rent here is so expensive the landlords here are so greedy um they charge so much rent and so the tiny community kitchen is pretty cool because it makes it more accessible for incredible chefs like empress to sell their food why do you think do you think it's hard to create something like this um in a community like burlington I think that opportunity is the biggest thing, right? So I believe if you got a passion for it, all you need is the opportunity. And I think that's one of the most important things is here in Burlington, uh, how Burlington is a small, you know, uh, knit community. I think that as long as there is passion behind the cooking and if there's a space for it, I think that anything can be done. If you were to change, like if you were in charge of this, that, so like this thing that is starting in our community, or something you would change like to improve, to make it better in our community? Hmm. Um, like I said, I've only been here a couple times. I'm not, I don't really have anything that I would change. I guess maybe just make it so that more people know. About, I don't know. I, I don't know how many people come here, but it seems like there's not always a ton of people. So maybe just making it. Yeah, I kinda, I kinda agree with you. On the, like, I, I live in this area, but I even yeah, know about exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. So maybe like having a bigger mm -hmm. space where more people can come and gather and cook and stuff. And it can be more of like a staple in the community and so my last question just what's your favorite food here man? you know I'm, i can't wait to get my hands on these ribs uh, you know yeah i've been uh i've been vegetarian now for about six years uh growing up i was a meat eater and i love barbecue but since that transition i haven't had a chance to you know to eat anything that is even close to barbecue uh so when i found out that they got ribs on the menu i've been licking my lips and every, all day all week long i've been waiting for this so you know that's that's really that i might have to try that too soon all right thank you man yeah. 
sure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And then, uh, why do you think it was important to start uh, the community, the community the kitchen? Community ki Come on in. We open. It's my second. It's my sister's second time being here. It was fantastic the first time, and everybody loves Empress Levi's so food because it's all vegan, and she worked very hard to cook this fantastic food for the community. Everybody knows and loves her. And this space is fantastic. It was started by a black woman, you know, but she left the state. And I'm so happy we still have a purpose for it because everybody loves to eat vegan food. It is so popular and it's good. Baby, them ribs is everything. If you haven't had them, you need to try them. Why do you think that landlords in Burlington, especially South Burlington, charge such exorbitant rent prices? Um, you know, so there are a handful of landlords who maybe they're old, um, maybe, you know, they can't really work anymore and they're just trying to get by. That does happen sometimes, but the vast majority of landlords are rich and greedy, and they're competing with other landlords. So even if you try to be a nice landlord, the way that capitalism works is that if you're not a mean landlord, you will get out-competed by the other landlords. So part of it is a choice. Like, you choose to be a landlord and you choose to be greedy, but once you're participating in the capitalist market for housing and rentals, you are going to be competing against other people. And so to outcompete others, you have to maximize your profit. That's how capitalism works. Mm -hmm. And so landlords both choose to be greedy because they choose to be landlords. And also, as long as the system of capitalism is in place, people are going to be competing against each, against each other to essentially be as greedy as possible. So... Because of this, like, capitalist system, um, how does this allow for, like, a place like the community kitchen to show up, which kind of goes against all the competitive uh, mindsets that capitalism breeds? You know, there are good people in Burlington who care about the community, and they care about helping each other out, and I think that that love will outlive greed. How do you get involved with the community kitchen? Yeah, so you can uh, hit us up on Instagram at Tiny Community Kitchen. Uh, we're active there, pretty active there. Just shoot us a direct message and we'll move from there. We got a pretty good operation going now. Oh, you know, so I'm actually uh, here local in this space, right? So I'm known in, uh, I feel like I do, well, I do a lot of community work in this area. So I normally, you know, try to support the community when I hear about things that come up, such as this opportunity today. Definitely. I have um, multiple friends who are chefs in Burlington and, you know, it's it's a struggle for all of them to be able to afford their own place and to have a place to be able to cook their food um, and uh, to be able to cook and sell their food. And this place is, um, like I said, really like providing that access, providing that venue. And it has a name recognition too. People hear the tiny community kitchen, they're like, okay, whatever's here it must be good. And so people come here, they hear about it on Instagram. And so it provides like a pr promotional element too. So I think all those things are great. So what's the Instagram name? So people can follow you guys. So this is Empress Levi Soul Food. Um, and you can put it on the screen. All right, make sure you follow that, yeah. Well, I think we had a great day here, and it was very nice to learn something that's happening in our community, good thing in our community. Right, Chance? Yes, we did, and then I really love it. And the food is so smell good. That I yeah, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to come back to try this new food, right, Lover? Yeah, yeah. These vanilla wafers are so good for no reason. You should definitely up. have them. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much, Burlington. Let's go!